Module 3, the Shang Dynasty about 1800 to 1027 BCE. I, Dr. Rita Pratap, former head of the department, drawing and painting, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. I am going to speak the Shang dynasty. An example is of a royal tomb that is the aerial view of the tomb of Fu Hao, consort of Wu Ding, the twelfth ruler of Shang, conveys some sense of the enormous size of the Anyang tombs and Fu Hao's over 13 by 18 feet. The floor level of Fu Hao shaft grave housed the royal corpse and most of the utensils and implements buried with her. The tomb of Fu Hao is the only undisturbed royal Shang tomb yet excavated and its wealth is a sure indication of what other discovered tombs once contained over 440 bronzes including 200 vessels, nearly 600 jade. Although the development of art in the Shang dynasty must have involved all mediums. Bronze was the major vehicle for cultural expression. Examples of Jui type related to three-legged vessels, weapons such as axe and dagger with animal representation, Gu ceremonial wine vessel, Fang Ding ceremonial food vessel etc are fine examples of the period. The Shang dynasty about 18,000 to 1027 BCE. The Shang kingdom or state was a single political unit ruled from a sequence of capitals in present day Henan province and surrounded by client or rival states some of whose names are mentioned on the oracle bones. The evidence is that they were native Chinese people of the central plain culture and inventions of three preponderant Neolithic cultures, Yangshao, Longshan and Liangshu. Here they began the most highly developed bronze technology which was acquired by the surrounding states. Enormous underground chamber tombs have been uncovered, richly furnished with bronzes and other treasure. Bronze was used primarily for weapons, for chariot fittings and horse trappings and above all for the ritual vessels, containers for wine, water and food with which the king and nobles performed sacrifices to ancestors and other spirits on whom the well-being of the realm depended. The early writing consisted of pictograms, picture symbols. They were inscribed in sacrificial bones and scratched on the oracle bones used for divination. A further stage in the development of the written language of China came with the phonogram that is speech symbol, a composite character one element of which gave the meaning, the other the pronunciation. As time went on, the pictographic element became less important. Nevertheless, Many modern characters started as pictures and the Chinese traditionally believe that writing and drawing have a common source. It is these beliefs in the essential unity of the two arts that make it possible for a Chinese painter to write on a picture as writing add to its beauty, meaning 
and value. Anyang from about 1300 BCE was the center of Shang ritual culture. Anyang have shown that tombs of Shang kings were lined with timber beads, leather hangings and thing painted with several colors with monster masks and other stylized animal motifs are very like those that decorate ritual bones vessels of the Shang dynasty and were found carved in wood and bone. They were the main elements, part magical and protective, part purely decorative of Shang art. An example is of a long-tailed bird scrubbing from a bronze vessel belonging to Shang dynasty and at present in the Freer Gallery of Art, Washington, D.C. Another example is of a guan jar. This high-fired ash-glazed jar represents the earliest type of glazed stoneware in China. The pale olive green colored glaze provides a glassy coating that both seals and decorates the thinly potted jar. Humble burials have been found there as well as royal. But the number, size and magnificence of the royal burials and Cheng Chao seem to give a special significance to the tombs of Yin. An example is of a royal tomb, Wug Yuan Kun, Anyang, Hinan, China, Shang Dynasty, Anyang period dated to circa 1200 BCE. That is the aerial view of the tomb of Fu Hao, consort of Wu Ding, the twelfth ruler of Shang, conveys some sense of the enormous size of the Anyang tombs and Fu Hao's over 13 by 18 feet was by no means the largest, some were over 60 feet deep. The floor level of Fu Hao's shaft grave housed the royal corpse and most of the utensils and implements buried with her. Below the corpse was a small pit holding the remains of six sacrificed dogs and along the perimeters lay the skeleton of 16 humans. The tomb of Fu Hao is the only undisturbed royal Shang tomb yet excavated and its wealth is a sure indication of what other discovered tombs once contained over 440 bronzes including 200 vessels, nearly 600 jade, stone and bone carvings and some 7,000 chowry shells. The riches of this tomb bespeak the extent to which other tombs were looted from Shung dynasty times until today. Grave robbers used long copper or bronze probes to locate the saleable metal object they sought and then dug them out in the process damaging or destroying the archaeological contents. A figurine made up of jade found from the tomb of Fu Hao belonging to Shang dynasty Anyang period dated to 1200 BCE. and at present in the Institute of Archaeology, 
Beijing is a good example of jade found in the tomb of Fu Hao. At Sheng Chao, which is believed to have been the second of several Shang capitals, archaeologists found the remains of workshops in which ceramic, bone and bronze objects were produced. Shang potters had discovered that certain materials could be melted at high temperature to form a glaze and this glassy coating on the surface of the ceramic ware could be used both for decoration and to seal the clay surface. The most treasured of the shunk ceramics are the rare fine grained unglazed white wares made from clay that is closely related to kaolin, the main ingredient of the hard transulent proslin wares that would not be perfected until the 7th century. Coarse grey pottery for everyday use was found in the more ordinary living areas. But the extraordinary discovery of high fired and glazed stoneware at Cheng Chao is Guar Jar. This is a proto stoneware, probably Cheng Chao, Henan, China, and belonging to Shang dynasty, dated to 16th 15th century BCE. At present, it is in the collection of Nelson Attican Museum, Kansas City. This Goa jar pushes the horizon of Chinese porcelain development back over 1000 years from 4000 BCE to before 1400 BCE. Probably advances in ceramic technology indicate the discovery of suitable clays. The iron glaze appears to be ash induced. Still a third type of ceramic is known from Anyang, a white earthenware of fine white and chalky clay fired at low temperature, covered with impressed and carved designs imitating those on developed shang bronzes. An example is of a vessel, white earthenware with impressed decoration, belonging to shang dynasty and at present in the Freer Gallery of Art, Washington DC. Another innovation of the Shang dynasty is a stone sculpture in the round or higher relief usually made up of white marble with decoration derived from dominant bronzes. The sculptures of owl, tiger were used architecturally as supports either for columns or for platforms of wood. An owl from Hujia Chuang Cemetery site Anyang, Hinan, belonging to Shang dynasty and at present in the Academia Sinica Taibe is a good example. One can also find single units of fish, swallow, owl, man, tiger, elephant created in marble. The superb Neolithic jade carving technology found in Liangshu and Hongshan cultures is also manifested in few Shang jades. In the Gilatli collection of Synthesonian Institution,
Washington DC two fragments of a finnail with masks is found. Relief modeling is in the humanoid mask with its tail curving headdress was combined with thread relief on the lower mask of the assemblage to create powerful accomplished images of terrifying and awesome magic. The greatest number of these late shang jades found are representation of animals and more rarely humans often in the round. A large number of jades from the tomb of Fu Hao includes representations of a proto Fang Huang mythical bird, dragons, birds, elephants, hawks and human figures. An example of tiger elephant made up of jade belonging to Shang dynasty and at present in the Cleveland Museum of Art shows composite head of a feline with large sharp teeth, elephant trunk and bovine horns. These three elements are smoothly unified within less than 2 inches of jade. Shang Bronzes Although the development of art in the Shang dynasty must have involved all mediums, bronze was the major vehicle of cultural expression. Bronze an alloy of copper and tin and sometimes lead was used by the Shang ruling class for weapons and hunting implements. Farmers continued to use tools made of stone, wood and bone until the introduction of iron. Many century later, invaluable for making weapons, bronze was also used in combination with jade to make beautiful ceremonial implements. Thin jade blades were often combined with bronze handles, sometimes in jade with turquoise to make ceremonial and funerary object that are far too fragile ever to have been intended for any utilitarian purpose. Ceremonial implement belonging to Shang dynasty made up of jade blade set in bronze with turquoise inlay at present in the Freer Gallery of Art, Simpsonian Institute, Washington, D.C. This blade, a replica of bronze weapon, is far too fragile to have been used for any utilitarian purpose. Jade blades and scepters may have served as emblems of rank in the imperial court. Pierced copper pendants or axes have been found in Longshan Neolithic sites. Bronze technology producing both weapons and utensils is datable at least to early Shang that is circa 1600 BCE and very likely to Chia circa 2000 BCE. Bronze ritual vessels producing during the early years of the Shang dynasty were characterized by the simple shapes and thin walls with thin relief, lines and narrow bands of decoration. Over time the wall grew thicker and the bands of decoration over the time the wall grew thicker and the bands of decoration widens two decorative motifs that appear in the period was Koi Dragon and Tao Tai 
a symmetrical mask motif characterized by prominent eye and decorative elements based on various animal features. Shang innovations included the thunder pattern, a background pattern of squared spirals reminiscent of the Greek key fret pattern, the introduction of raised decoration first in low relief and later developing into high relief with ornamentation projecting into space and an increased use of real rather than composite animal motifs one can see regional stylistic variation appearing for the first time in the later years of the Shang dynasty. Several new type of bronze vessels decorative with both composite and real animal forms appear at this time as well. Although bronze vessels were originally of a shiny copper or silver color, the colorful blue or green surface patina caused by corrosion is now considered to be a part of the aesthetic appeal of these ancient objects. A few bronze vessels found in various museums are Elephant Zun belonging to Shang dynasty made up of bronze and at present in the collection of Musée Guimet, Paris. Craftsmen of China's Bronze Age often made ritual wine vessels in the shape of animals or birds. Elephants may have ranged as far north as the Yangtze Valley in the second millennium BCE. Fang Ding, it is a ritual food vessel found from Hunan province belonging to Shang dynasty dated to 14th to 12th century BCE made up of bones, People's Republic of China. This is decorated on all four sides with human mask motif. This ritual vessel bears the inscription large grain, the enlarged flanges of the rectangular ding which was used to hold cook food are typical of Shang bronzes. The San Oku Hakoka Kan provides us with another extraordinary bronze, a very complicated vessel, you in the form of a beer swallowing a man. It is a ritual wine vessel belonging to Shang dynasty and at present in the Sumitomo collection, Kyoto, Japan. This unique covered ritual wine vessel depicts a man clutched by a beer, like beast with a deer on its head and a kui dragon on its side. The elaborate surface decoration and the combination of animal motifs is typical of shank bronze vessels. Blade This is made up of white jade, belongs to Shang dynasty and at present in the Ernest Erickson Collection, New York. This Erickson blade, however, is very simple and probably made from a long boulder, sliced and sawed and then polished to its final shapes. Such a blade which would have served no useful purpose as jade 
is very brittle and could not withstand the severe impact probably copied a bronze weapon and was used for ritual purposes. As there is no decoration beyond a spiral pattern near the handle and it remains an austere straightforward from related to the few known Neolithic examples. A guang, a guang embodies shang concepts of metamorphosis very beautifully. A tiger like cover changes at the back into the mask of an owl with eyes, ear and tuft sand beak. Some insist the bird is a pheasant, some insist the bird is a peasant despite the fact that it has been scientifically identified as an owl. But the peasant is a sunbird and so more useful to the modern symbol seeker than the less convenient owl. The whole back of the guang is treated as if it were a spoon-billed bird. The artist has combined three presumably incompatible elements, an owl, some other kind of birds and a tiger into one functional design. The neck of the second bird provides the handle by which it tilts the vessel and pours when the cover is removed. The ground of the vessel is elaborately developed with a pattern of squared spirals, sometimes called thunder pattern. This provides a texture against which the low relief and large design elements stand out. Squatting beer, it is made up of jade, belongs to Shang dynasty and at present in the Fogg Art Museum, Harvard University, Cambridge. There are found animals in the round like the squatting beer, whose unadorned surface recalls Neolithic techniques. There are also animals of unknown provenance which may be Neolithic jades or jade-like stones carved in the shape of a squatting animals similar to the beer. So there may well be some carry over both in style and technique from Neolithic sculptures to the Shang jades. But the little beer displays one very significant addition, the typical Shang motif of the hawk eye with the pupil or circle of the eye indicated as larger than the oval rim of the eye and the tear duct as beak shaped axe. It is made up of bronze, belongs to Shang dynasty and at present in the Cleveland Museum of Art. This axe shows the type of weapon developed from the imports and embellished by the Shang with two of the characteristic motifs. One of these is the so-called Taok Chi, which means in modern Chinese Augre mask or glutonous mask. The term was applied to this Shang motif by Chinese connoisseurs of much later times and is a misnomer that has stuck despite the fact that the mask may be of many different animals, bulls, tiger and deer among others. In the illustration, some kind of feline creature, perhaps a tiger, looks straight out at the spectator and as has been often pointed out, is similar to masks 
in the much later carvings of the American Northwest Coast Indians. It looks as though the skull of the animal had been split and the two sides of the head spread out to the front plane so that one sees two side views from the front. The result makes rectangular pattern with startling eyes and bared fangs. Below on the axe is the second important element of shunk decoration called the Kui dragon, a single legged creature with horns, fangs, teeth and usually a gapping mouth. From the evidence of hundreds of decapitated human figures buried at Anyang, we may conclude that an axe of this size and type was used for human sacrifice. Drum This is made up of bronze belonging to Shang dynasty and at present in the Sumitomo collection, Japan. This original three-piece drum was cast in one bronze hole, safe for the removable lid. The drum has a central decorative motif of a human being with a winged head dress. Below is a mask with two eyes looking in from the side. There are two birds and an augre mask on the cover. The ends of the bronze are cast to stimulate crocodile hide. Presumably, the Sumitomo bronze is derived from the wooden drum with crocodile skins as drum heads. The meaning of the symbols is not known to us. This drum is one good indication of the influence of earlier wooden prototypes. Square Ding This is from Hao Chia Chuang and Yang. This is made up of bronze and belong to Shang dynasty. This ding is a vessel which Li Qi uses convincingly as evidence of a wood derivation for the bronze vessel. It is a four square vessel as if made of boards of wood with painted decoration, peg like legs and loop handles on the sides. The decoration in this case is easy to read and very unusual. The main mask on the sides of the vessel is a deer mask with two hook beaked birds, perhaps owls on either side. Above and below this is a band with a series of little monsters in dragon-like form. This specimen was excavated at Anyang and is of tremendous size over two feet square. Drawings showing relationship of shapes in ceramics above and bronze below. This drawing indicates the possible derivation of some of the shapes. The drawing includes only three of the large numbers and variation of shapes that have been found. But these are significantly common and are further related to those of the earlier Neolithic culture of China. On the right, the illustration above is a vessel of a type found in the Neolithic plain culture. Below is a Chinese bronze vessel of the Shang dynasty of the Kui shape. Above in the center is the lee tripoid in bronze. On the left is the solid legged tripoid in clay, a type found at Yangshao. The type site for the painted potter culture below 
is a three-legged being with solid legs in bronze of the Shang dynasty. As numerous signs have shown, vessel was not made by the lost wax method, seri peridu, but the means of clay model. Find of these have ended the seemingly endless debate of earlier years, when some scholars were unable to accept the idea of early bronze having been cast either with clay molds or by the seri peridu method. The finds also explained how complicated decorative elements such as sculptural animal heads were produced. These arms, heads or snake heads with horns as well as legs of a vessel were separately and then incorporated or cast into the original model. Zun vessel belonging to 12th, 11th century BC with ram and snake decoration probably of provincial origin is today in the historical museum Beijing. The ram's head Zun with four horned heads separated by dragon's head required 21 individual steps from the casting of its parts through to its completion. The parts themselves could be used several times which meant that identical objects could be made. In some instances twin objects were placed in pairs in the grave. Casting using the lost wax method can be dated from 5th century BC. At first this date appears to be contradicted by the fact that the bee was first domesticated in the 3rd century BC. But clearly the wax necessary for casting must have come only from the colonies of wild bees. Those vessels made using seriperidu method are rather rare. The method made an improvement in quality possible. However, as proved by the bronze from the tomb of Marcus Yi of Cheng, the number of bronze made by this process underwent a boom around 1000 years later in the Han dynasty after the domestication of the bee and was used for both large and small statues. The famous maidservant with lamb forms the tomb of Princess Dao Wan, 2nd century BC was made in this way. The belief in some sort of life after death led to tombs being luxuriously fitted out, particularly in the Anyang phase of Shang dynasty. The social status people had enjoyed in life was to be reflected in the grave furnishings. The grave was to be the new dwelling place of the Dickies equipped with items of personal significance and everything required for daily existence in the afterlife. Princely glaives of the Shang era had established a ground plan in the form of the character Shi, 10, comparable to a Roman cross. The character Shi, the layouts, princely tombs from the Shang era has its origin in this shape. In these complexes, the dead were buried in two coffins, an inner quan in which the body lay and a larger outer guo. The grave goods were placed either in the intermediate space between the inner and outer coffins as in the grave 18 in Anyang or on the stamped earth podium, the air sangetai, on which the outer coffin 
rested. Only a few objects have been found in the inner coffin. Ivory beaker dated to about 1250 BC with turquoise inlay, tomb of the Amazon Fu Hao and at present in the historical museum Beijing. Probably this is an item for the queen's personal use. This beaker is etched with two tick decoration and turquoise inlay. The vessels were either round or rectilinear and belonged to the three main groups of containers for food, wine and water. A list of names according to these as cooking vessels and containers for these were Ding, Li, Yan, Kui and the Ladle B. As wine vessels, the goblets Gu and Chu as well as the wine containers Jui, Jia, He used for warming wine and drinking it and as storage vessels for wine Zun, the Zumphoric Zun, Gong, Fangi, Yu, Yu, Li, Bu, and Pao and finally the water container Pan and Yu, deep bowls. Thanks offering of wine or liquids were of paramount importance in the ritual of the Shang vessels of this type are the most widely found and show the greatest variety in shapes. Formerly there was considerable variation within one vessel type for example, ding tripoids sometimes had round legs, sometimes dagger-like legs. Handles could be bow-like or end in elaborate animal shapes. For example, U vessel. It is made up of bronze and at present in the Museum of Cologne. This U has a bow-shaped handle, a bird-like decorative device with background pattern and a small bird in the lid handle. According to tree gear, the development of hyartic motifs is so impressive that it cannot rightly be called decoration any longer. Decoration became artistic expression. A beautiful example is of a zun dated to 13th, 12th century BC, possibly of provincial origin and in the collection of British Museum, London. The Zun decorated all over and the realistic ram's head contrast with low relief design of the vessel's super surface and the tattoo mask below the vessel's mouth. Geo vessel used for warming wine and drinking it. It has symmetrical stylized face of an animal with the body of a snake. An artificially constructed hybrid. A most prominent decorative motif on Shang bronze. This vessel has pointed legs, tattooy decoration, handle in the form of a stylized animal, is head with trunk, this vessel is made up of bronze and is in the Museum of Cologne. The tattoo, the term does not derive from oracle text but is an invention of Chinese scholars of the Chan Gua era, was thought to have apotropic powers, in other words, was able to ward off evil. Who vessel? with graphic surface decoration in certain areas the Li Wen motif is greatly increased in size so as to form a distinctive decorative feature. It is in the collection of the Museum of Cologne. Fang Yi ritual vessel as storage vessel for wine. This vessel dated 
to 12th century BC has a decoration on the lid which depicts a stylized owl. It is at present in the collection of the Museum of Cologne. Fang Li vessel. This vessel is in the collection of Munich Museum. The surface of the vessel is divided into a decorative zones. Above the small modeled heads in the lower third of the vessel, the first tattoo mask is clearly identifiable. In the decorative zone below the vessel's shoulder, there is a second tattoo mask. This time with a snake's body. In addition, birds are depicted in profile at the corners. Guang, ritual wine vessel, Shang dynasty, Anyang period, made up of bronze and at present in the Freer Gallery of Art, Synthesonian Institution, Washington, D.C. This unusual ritual vessel combines head of a grinning tiger, an owl mask on the lid and a bird whose neck forms the handle into a single functional design. Dink, ritual food vessel belonging to Shang dynasty, Anyang period dated to 1300 to 1050 BC. It is made up of bronze and at present in the National Palace Museum, Taipei. Set against a thunder pattern of squared spirals, the symmetrical Taotic animal mask is made up of a variety of zoomorphic facial elements with an emphasis on the raised eyes. It can also be viewed as two confronting horizontal creatures in profile with clawed feet and upturned tails. Altar set of ritual food and wine vessels belong to late Shang, early Chao dynasty. It is made up of bronze and at present in the Metropolitan Museum of Art New York. Although it is not known for certain how these vessels were originally arranged, Corazon antlers of these principal vessels etched onto the surface of the table suggest the arrangement spattered. These pieces which were made in different foundries probably represent the accumulated wealth of a family shrine. Like two other Shang centers, Funan in Anhui and Anyang in Henan, the last Shang capital, the Sichuan site revealed underground chamber tombs and walls of nearby substantial city, both built on pounded earth. It is also revealed bronze vessels of the Zun type, spirit trees, fearsome faces of the huge bronze figures and jades are objects excavated. Mm -hmm.